This is 7.2 neuron notes. The essential question is, what structures make up the neuron, and what are the classifications used to categorize neurons? The neuron is the functional unit of the nervous system. It is another word for the nerve tissue and, or the nerve cell. And the nervous system is made up of the neuron and the supporting cells called the neuroglia. Neurons are made up of several structures. One of them, the main area, is the cell body, which contains nucleuses and other organelles. And attached to the cell body are structures called projections, called dendrites. And they are like the antennas or receiving portions of the neuron. The other structure is the axon, which is usually the longest or largest uh, projection or the structure coming off the cell body. And their job is to send information from the cell body and then carry it off into another neuron or an effector organ or somewhere else. Any branches that come off the uh, sometimes the axon can split, and when they split into two, then that's called the collateral axon. So here in the picture, here is your cell body, which contains the nu nucleus and other organelles. Then off the, nucle uh, the cell body are the dendrites, which are the highly branched structures off of the cell body, and they receive information from other neurons, or other areas. Once the cell body receives the information from the dendrites, then they send the information down the axon to uh, other neurons. Here is a neuron depicting the flow of nerve impulse. Notice that the dendrites are sending information or nerve impulse to the cell body. Once the cell body receives the information, they will uh, process the information and then send that information down the axon away into the terminal axon terminals which then can be attached um, that are connected with other neuron or it could be effector organ and then the information then gets received by the dendrites of the next neuron and then carried to the cell body and then case carried down the axon of the second neuron and notice this neuron has two branches off the axon. That's why this is called the collateral axon. Recall from the last unit that the end of the axon are little enlargements called the synaptic end bulb and they contain synaptic vesicles which then inside the uh, synaptic vesicles are the neurotransmitters and depending on which type of neuron we're talking about then it's going to uh, we're going to be dealing with different neurotransmitters myelin is a structure that is surrounds the axon it's almost like a a jelly roll around the axon and it forms a myelin sheath and the function of the myelin is to insulate the axon and that allows for the the information to travel down the axon much faster. Uh, the areas of the axon where there is no myelin is called the node of Ranvier. There are two classifications of neurons. One is based on structure. Multipolar neurons are neurons that have several dendrites, highly uh, branched dendrites, and one axon. And these neurons are usually found in the central nervous system. And it is the most common type of neuron. Bipolar neurons are neurons that have one dendrite and one axon. And they're usually found in the special sense organs. The last one is the unipolar, which has just one process and are always uh, sensory neurons. And they have... the their axonal terminals are in the central nervous system and the cell body is in the ganglia. Now, here's a picture of the three. Notice the reason why it's called bipolar. It has two processes coming off the cell body. One is the dendrite and the other one is the axon. Because bipolar neurons only have one dendrite, they can only receive information from one area. They can 
then send the information to multiple other neurons, but they can only receive from one area because of the one dendrite. On the other hand, multipolar, because they have the multiple branches, they can receive information from many different areas. And again, they could have branched axons, and then they can t also then send the information to multiple areas too. Unipolar is named unipolar because they only have one projection coming off of the cell body, and one end of it is the dendrite, and the other end is the axon. And like the bipolar, they can only receive information from one area, and then they can carry that information to other areas. The other classification is the functional classification and is based on which direction the information is traveling down the neuron. So sensory or afferent neurons, their job is to send information toward the central nervous system, which is the brain and the spinal cord. And they have their receptors all throughout the body and they basically sense any kind of changes in the environment. And then the tips of that, inf uh, the dendrites receive that information and then they can send it down the, the brain and the spinal cord to uh, give you information with, about what's going on in the body. Most of the sensory neurons are unipolar, but some can be bipolar. Motor or efferent neurons transmit information away from the central nervous system to the effector organs. So again, sensory or afferent are your input information, information the brain and the spinal cord is getting about what's going on in your body. And then motor and efferent neurons are the ones that's going to carry out any kind of action that is necessary depending on what kind of information was um, received from the sensory or the effer afferent neurons. And remember, effectors are any organs or glands that carries out uh, whatever the instruction that the motor and the efferent neurons are giving, uh, getting from the brain and the spinal cord. Then interneurons, just like the name uh, implies, is be found between the connection between the sensory and the motor neuron. So uh, there are mo usually multipolar neurons, which means they can receive information from multiple uh, sensory neurons or, and then uh, relay that information to multiple mo uh, motor neurons. So the pathway of how information travels is that you have receptors all throughout the body and then sensory neurons are going to carry that information to the spinal cord or the brain. And then there's going to be a connection in the actual spinal cord, which is the interneuron, then the interneuron will then send the information down the motor neuron to the effect organ, which then is going to carry out the function. Function In this case, that will be the muscle. So whatever information is being sent is received, and then an action is carried out by the muscle. The 7.2 notes homework is number one, how are unipolar, bipolar, and multipolar neurons different? Number two, how are dendrites and axon different in structure and in number? Number three, where is myelin located and what is its function?